Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to watch what your kids are doing online, specifically using parental controls, as well as just kind of monitor uh, what people would be doing on your computer. So it's actually fairly easy to set up. Now you can't enable parental controls on the administrator account, so if you only have one account on your computer, you're not going to be able to set parental controls on that computer alone. So to start it up all you're gonna have to do is go up to your app logo menu and click system preferences system preferences is going to open and you're going to click on the parental controls tab so now what you're going to see here is a list of all your accounts on your computer that can have parental controls and what you're going to have to do in most cases is click the lock to make changes so it's going to have you authenticate with your password and then you're going to be able to manage controls. So I'm going to click on my demo account that I made here and all I have to do is click enable parental controls. Now from here you're going to get a lot a lot of different options what that you can set for parental controls. Now if you have kids the biggest thing you're probably going to want to choose is use Simple Finder. And what Simple Finder does is it kind of strips down Mac OS X to its most basic form in order to better suit it for younger or inexperienced users as it says so it's going to give them a little less control over the system so you know they're not going to be able to mess it up as easy and you can also limit applications so let's say you don't want your kid accessing a Twitter application you can limit applications that you want them to use so I can click that and let's say apps that are 17 plus I don't want them you know using I can do that so you can see down here allowed apps I have all the apps that I have installed so let's say I don't want them using Twitter now they're not using Twitter or other apps I have a lot of different apps in here and I could just click any of those and they wouldn't be using them anymore so that's pretty much how it works uh, very easy to work with and restrict what apps you want people using. This is also useful if you have other people accessing your computer and you don't want them to have full access over everything that you have on your computer. You can also disallow users to modify the dock so that they can't take things out of the dock, they can't put things in the dock, things like that and what you have in there is a set restricted set of applications and that's how it's going to be. You can also click on logs here and you're going to be able to see applications that the user open, things they did in iChat, website, websites that are blocked and websites that are visited. So you have a lot of different things if you see your kid on the computer you don't know what they're doing or something like that. You can just go in, look at the websites visited and you have all your logs here. So you can set it up so activity for one week, all group by, we can website and date. So this is a way to manage all the logs that are on here. So if you click on the web tab, you can limit access to adult websites automatically and you can customize this from here. So you can add websites to block and you know never allow certain websites or always allow certain websites. So that's pretty nice. Under the People tab, you can limit mail and iChat functions, so if you don't want them using mail, let's say you don't really want them to have access to a mail account or chat with other people, you can do that easily, and you can also allow certain contacts. So let's say you want them to be able to chat with maybe grandma or something like that, but none of the other people, so it's very easy to do that that way, and you can also manage logs from there. You can also have time, time limits. Now this is very useful let's say if your child spends a lot of time on the computer and you want them to you know be off at a certain time in the night you can limit it to a certain amount of hours and then you can set it for the weekend let's say they'll have two more hours on the weekend or something like that you can limit it for that too and then also you know for school nights it's very easily accessible Sunday through Thursday and Friday and Saturday so you can prevent access so at that certain time let's say at 8 o'clock you want them off the computer it'll log them out at 8 o'clock and that'll be it. So if you go into the other tab you can also do a lot of other things here. Hide profanity in the dictionary so if you don't want them you know looking up inappropriate words you can click that. 
you can limit them from you know changing up your printer settings so messing up your computer pretty much and also CD and DVD burning as well as changing their password so that you're locked out of their account so you have a lot of different options in parental controls and it can make you a lot more you know give you a lot more peace of mind when you are using your Mac and letting kids use your Mac or even other people so that's about all and it's very simple and if you want to get rid of parental controls then you can just turn parental controls off and they're off so it's very easy to set up very easy to configure and it'll give you the peace of mind you might want so that's about all for this video I hope you found it useful and thank you for watching